the scene where where Chucky's trying to kill um, Chris Sarandon in the car, I want to say. Gosh, I want to say we shot a lot of that on stage. Like they had, we shot some stuff outside, but because I think the car flips or something like that, and we used Ed Gale in a bunch of stuff running around on the broken glass and you know popping in and out. But I remember Al Coulter and myself holding that puppet and like putting it in and doing all the giggling and all that stuff and in and out and all that. Uh, we spent a lot of time uh, in that car, yeah, crunched up and and actually it was um, it was great because they built all the sets elevated. So we would be standing or crouched down a little bit uh, so we could puppeteer Chucky through the scene, not be, you know, and be out of out of sight, of course, because everything was elevated however many feet, like five and a half feet or something like that. Um, and that was one of those two. I remember the car was elevated up on a, on a fake street. That's all coming back to me now. It's been a long, long time. And we were just, you know, we shot that for quite a bit. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. Same when... when uh, the witch doctor gets killed. That was a, a a long scene that went on for quite a while. And roll, please. Two rolling. Ready and playback. Uh, yes. Get me to police. This is an emergency. And you know, I thought something like this might happen. That's why I prepared for it. What are you talking about? And your own personal mojo, Doc. Made out of your hair, your clothes, even bathed in a little bit of your own blood, right? Give me that. And sure, how do you want it? With a broken leg? And he starts to walk forward. And shouldn't tell your customers where you hide things like this, John. Gets you in trouble every time. 